Oh, get your jewellery out, ladies and gents. When did you last check the back of your wardrobe, down the back of the sofa, or even in those sort of old jewellery boxes where you've put some of the old stuff from the family heirlooms and don't really think much about it? Well, apparently out there, £50 million worth of unwanted earrings, necklaces, rings, everything else um, that you could be selling and getting hold of the money. Let's talk to the head of jewellery for Bonhams in the UK and Europe, Jean Geeker, who's here. Lovely to see you. It yeah. seems like the stuff of dreams that actually mm. some of the things that people have put away and just forgotten about mm. could be really valuable. Absolutely. Uh, I think we've um, been surprised by the finds that we've discovered. Quite often people don't realise what they have sitting in their, uh, in their drawers, on top of their wardrobes. And at Bonhams um, we have a month during June where we open our doors to uh, anyone who wants to come in for a free valuation throughout the UK and we're offering to value jewellery and we're hoping to have some more wonderful finds. That's, it's quite a thing that actually, people may not realise, but, uh, but uh, a valuation can be quite expensive, can't it? Yes, we're valuing, we, we do this with a view to sale, so for people to come in and bring their items in, we're giving an auction valuation and um, we, often, we, we, we offer the, the person the opportunity of putting that item into one of our frequent jewellery auctions. It seems amazing that people can have things like this put away and not realise its value. Talk us through this. That's um, a, a wonderful piece for two reasons. It's, it's a rare model. Um, the uh, black bangle is made from lacquer and on it are three diamond clusters which are detachable. So you can wear them on that bangle or you could also wear them as brooches. Um, the other important thing is it was made by Cartier in the ah, 1920s. Mm, right. And it's the addition of a label, a name, a brand name like that, that is so important. And quite often people don't realise so that something is So someone, someone had this put away somewhere, didn't realise it was really worth a lot of money. Exactly, and, and it's, it sold for £100,000. <sighs> Wow. Who are the buyers? Are they, are they collectors wow. or just ordinary people? Yes, there, there are people who love jewellery and uh, they want to wear it, they want to enjoy it and they have a collection. There are people who are looking at it as an investment um, and there are also professionals as well. So it's a broad range of people from all over the world and there are a lot of jewellery collectors out there, a lot of jewellery lovers. You do expect great. people to be to be very well off or, or very well to do when they've, they've got nice pieces of jewellery. I know that's got, I think we've got some earrings that were brought into Bonhams um, in a, a plastic carrier bag. Supermarket carrier bag and it's it's one of those situations where actually it can be anybody, it can be a, gifted to someone's grandmother, they didn't realise what it was and natural pearls are really a case in point. We sold some beautiful natural pearl earrings last year for £150,000 and the owner didn't really have any expectation because they didn't realise that they were natural pearls which right. are far more valuable than cultured pearls so it's really that sort of expertise that is we're offering to enable people to have some kind of idea what what their jewellery is worth. Uh, was it those earrings that went for 150? Yes. 150,000 pounds that could yes. be sitting in your house Mm. right now. My mum's just sold her house and so I got my old um, uh, jewellery box with the ballerina that turns and um, oh, yeah. I found a lovely pearl that I thought was quite a special pearl. Yes. It fell off. It fell off oh. after the first day so it's very disappointing. I don't think it was the one that was meant to be the oh. lovely one but um, it was so nice and I thought I finally found it but I, they sort of go missing and you're right, they do go missing, these special things from when you were young, you were given by a grandparent or something. Mm. And I think the stories sometimes, you know, if it's handed down uh, through several generations, maybe the story or, or the, the fact that it had value to the original owner is sort of lost in translation. And at Bonhams, we can help and tell people what their jewellery is and worth. So the, the fact it's free and, you know, you can just go in with anything you've got. I mean, you might see a lot of rubbish, but it'd be worth it to find the needle in the haystack. Well, that's, that's what we're there for throughout June. Gee, wonderful. Well, let us know if you uncover any Will little do. gems, won't you? Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Talking of gems, got a gem of a day, I think, mm. Isabel. Oh, just lovely. A lovely day for many, particularly in eastern parts.